How to bypass safety net on rooted devices with hardware attestation. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can bypass safety net on rooted Android devices which do have hardware attestation. Now, do note this is the POCO X3 Pro which is running the global stable MIUI 12.5.1 based on Android 11. For starters, what is this hardware attestation thing? So let me check for safety net first. Here it is, eval type you see hardware. This means that Google's technique of checking for safety net is checking whether the bootloader is unlocked or not. As soon as you unlock the bootloader on newer Android devices, you are going to lose your safety net. Why? Because they are using hardware attestation. Can this process be done without root? No, this cannot be done without root access. So here it is, Magisk one more time, device is rooted using Magisk version 23.0, the Magisk app version is also 23.0. Let us first go into settings and try to enable Magisk hide. Go back, check for safety net one more time. And you will notice that even if you use Magisk hide, it will still fail. That is because we are using the hardware eval type. So how do you fix this? For starters, first of all, let us open our website. So this is GitHub page for K Dragon, the person behind this safety net fix and do note this is a universal safety net fix. However, a few things to note is that it is going to change your eval type from hardware to software. If your safety net fails, even if you are on the software attestation or eval type, then you have to use the Magisk hide props config. Then Android versions which are supported are Android 8 to Android 11. Heavy OEM skins are not officially supported, but we are using a heavy OEM skinned device, which is your MIUI. In case you want to know more about it, feel free to read the source. Anyways, once you are on this page, tap on the plus four releases thing it will take you to the releases page here in the version which we are using is 1.1.1 tap on assets and select this one safety net fix this is a zip file and a magisk module so it was downloaded to my device here it is download was complete and it will be in the download folder next up we are going to open magisk and do make sure that magisk hide is still enabled do not disable that Next up, we will go to the fourth option, which is your modules page, install from storage. Now, if you are on Android 10 or below, you might have to select the three dot menu on the right and say, show device files or show internal storage. For me, I am on Android 11, so I don't have to do that. Three bar menu on the top left and then select your device's name. Let us change the view to list view, go into download. So here it is, the module which we are looking for. Just select the file and once that is done, we are going to reboot our device. Now, while the device is rebooting, I know a lot of my subscribers are Poco peeps. And before you ask me, is this going to work on the Poco F1 or not? So here it is. I do have the Poco F1 and again, MIUI 12 based on Android 10. The device is rooted. And if I go into Magisk and try to check for safety net, let me kill the application first. So go into Magisk and check for safety net you will see it is passing for me but the eval type is basic and of course I do have the Magisk hide option enabled so here it is Magisk hide is enabled on the POCO F1 and it is passing so we have booted back let us now go back into Magisk and here in first of all fourth option universal safety net fix Magisk module installed and it is active go to the home screen check for safety net you will see eval type should change to basic and safety net is now passing another issue which a lot of people face is that they are still not able to use their banking apps so how do you fix that for starters let us go to the google play store and go into play store settings about phone you will see device is not certified so how do you certify your device pretty easy open magisk one more time go to the home screen select the second option and then select magisk hide this is going to list all the applications which are there so you will see google play services is checked by default if it is not check it then tap on the search it should open another floating window select show system apps and then tap on the check mark 
Next up, here we need to search for Google Services Framework. Do note the list is in alphabetical order. So let us search for the Google Services Framework. Here it is. Select the Google Services Framework. And then if you have any banking app, which is, you know, giving you an error about root, select that app also. Unfortunately, right now, I do not have any app installed or any banking app installed. Next thing you need to do is press and hold on the Play Store icon, go into application info and say clear data and say clear all data, select OK. Once that is done, next thing we are going to do is we are going to reboot our device. And while the device is rebooting, another pro tip for POCO F1 users, if you have the same issue wherein safety net is passing but Play Protect is not certified, follow the same steps and you should be good to go. Now we have booted back into MIUI. Let us unlock the device and open the Play Store. Do note we cleared out the Play Store data and of course the internet is not yet connected. It is connected now. Here it is. It is now connecting and everything is loading. Let us go into settings one more time about BAM. Here it is. You can see device is now certified, which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. Now, I know a lot of you are going to ask me that. What if you are on a custom ROM which is based on AOSP? In that case, the developer of this module, Kdragon, he does mention on this page that if you are on a custom ROM, here it is, ROM integration, you do have to pick up two commits and here they are. So this is something which your ROM developer should, of course, integrate into their custom ROM which is based on AOSP. Now, what are the other devices I have tried this on? Well, I have tried it on my POCO F3 as well so here it is and this one is also running the stock MIUI 12.0.5 based on Android 11 and let us go to the Google Play Store as well so here it is the Google Play Store and let us now go into the settings about phone you will see device is certified let me open the Magisk app as well and home and let us try to check for safety net of course from time to time magisk does not detect the internet connection here it is check for safety net and you will see that success eval type is of course set as basic and there it is peeps that is how you bypass or pass safety net on stock android devices running stock roms with attestation type as hardware and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.